Pennsylvania Republican Senator Pat Toomey, a member of that super committee. What do you make of that? When it's time for the pushing, some are saying, get dropping. Yeah. Well, Neil, uh, you know, if Maxine just uh, waits a little while, the select committee is going to go away. I mean, the uh, statute that creates the committee gives us a very, very limited lifespan. As you know, we've got to have our product finished, scored, reported out of the committee if we can reach an agreement by November 23rd. Are you going to make uh, that? Are you going to make that deadline, Senator? I certainly hope we will, and we're working every day to try to get there. But the point is, the committee goes away. Now, let me just say, I think this is a terrible process. Um, but everything else has failed. We haven't had a budget. We haven't gone through the ordinary appropriations process. We had a meltdown over the debt limit in part because of these things. So now we've got this uh, committee created that has the power to force an up or down vote on a legislative product if we can get a majority of the committee to agree to it. Um, this isn't the way Congress ought to operate, but everything else having failed, I think we ought to give this a shot. Um, you don't succeed, then these other... Uh, locked in cuts roll in, right? That's exactly right. There's an automatic sequestration goes into effect, uh, about $1.2 trillion worth of cuts, half of which goes right into the defense budget. That's a very, very big and very crude number to, to whack at defense. Uh, I think that'd be bad policy. Um, the other thing is, you know, what we really ought to be doing is looking at what's driving our fundamental deficit problem. Medium term, long term, everybody knows it's the big entitlement programs. Everybody knows they're growing at an unsustainable rate. Yeah, but are you going to be able to address any uh, or even part of that ahead of the November 23rd deadline? Uh, it's certainly possible, and I certainly hope we will. We will not have made significant progress on our goal unless we do, Neil. That's, that's what the problem is. And by the way, I'm not suggesting we're going to fix all our fiscal problems, but right. if we could turn the corner, if we could make some progress, if we could start to move in the right direction at least, that would be real progress. Um, I know you're against any sort of revenue enhancements, any way to raise revenues. The six Democrats, of course counter that that's got to be on the table. Um, I know ostensibly everything's on the table, but if that's an anathema to you and, and, and the, those Democrats say any, any curtailing, even in the growth of this spending on entitlements, uh, has got to be off the table. I, I, hope springs eternal. Don't get me wrong, Senator, but uh, you seem, your committee seems like a mini version of the, 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 the frozen nature of Congress itself. Well, look, first of all, you know, all of the ideological and philosophical divides that occur in Congress are present and accounted for at the sure. table of the 12 of us. I, I will concede that point in a heartbeat. One of the things I have long argued, and I'm not going to get into the specifics of what we're discussing at that table, but I have long argued that uh, fundamental tax reform, or at least significant tax reform, could be the key to unlocking this uh, apparent um, you know, set of differences. And by that, I'm talking about a simplification that uh, uh, broadens the base, lowers marginal rates, encourages economic growth. Everybody agrees that if we simplified the code, lowered marginal rates, you could do it in a way where you maintain progressivity and unleashed significant growth. And that has a huge boom in revenue. So that's the way we think we ought to grow revenue. It's a lot of revenue. More importantly, it's jobs and economic growth. I think that that ought to be uh, uh, one of the ways we can bridge the, the things that, you know, keep us apart. All right. We'll watch. Senator, thank you. Good seeing you again. Thanks, Neil.